going to redraw my husband's artwork. Oh, no, but it's dinner time. <laughs> it's not dinner time. We had dinner an hour ago. Well, it's dessert time then. <laughs> always pick the worst time. Dessert time is the worst time. Dessert time is always the worst time. What? Cookies, <laughs> What did you make? So this is Philip, the cupcake prince, <laughs> and his honey badger, Todd. Now I got myself something like a treat. Why is his name Todd? No, no, oh, oh, treat. <laughs> so I have to redraw Philip and a Todd in my own style. What are you eating? Uh, I don't know. Where did you get those? Uh, downstairs. Those were a surprise. For, for later. Oh. For you. Oh. I've decided to turn his lollipop staff into a lollipop mace. Richard, why is he scared? Because he's not going to get any dessert or cupcakes. He's going to eat his fellow cupcakes. Yeah, they're delicious. I'm worried about you. Don't eat. I've got cookies. I'm good. Everyone say hello to Philip and his honey badger, Todd. <laughs> so when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What does your name look like to me? Last time, we did Chad. But this time, you guys voted for Patricia. Patricia. Patricia's are either really old or really young. There's just there's just no middle ground there. And when she was young, she listened to no one. Patricia! Get it together, sweetie. We have a show this weekend. <laughs> now that she's older, she still listens to no one. But that's more due to the hearing aids. <laughs> Patricia's demand the finer things in life, even from, from their suitors, their lovers. Like a gigolo. <laughs> what you just say? Um, I don't want to, I don't know. I don't want to say it again. <laughs> That is not how you say that. Second of all, that is not what you think it is. No, the finer things in life, you know, like like opera and and pearl necklaces and <laughs> and Olive Garden. What? Bring me more breadsticks, breadstick boy. Cause you know what, Patricia's aged like fine wine, expensive with perfect taste, and just a little bit bitter. <laughs> oh, here's to you, Patricia. You're better than the rest of us. Vote on the next name here. There's this new AI filter that's been going around making some art, and I think we all know what needs to be done. It's an art showdown, and it's me versus the AI. I'm gonna have the random drawing generator figure out what we're drawing. Who are we gonna draw? Oh God, <laughs> I'm not good at drawing animals. <laughs> Is the alligator gonna be doing? <laughs> oh, he's an astronaut. In all serious, I'm actually, <laughs> actually kind of worried. Why? Cause, cause it's a computer. It has all the skill of the entire internet. I have me, and I can't draw alligators. You're so good. No, though. no, no. Cause yeah. this thing, this thing can reference like Da Vinci, and I'm over here drawing fettuccine legs. Are you feeling better? I am so much better. You know what? I've thickened him up, and now he's got both cheeks on Europe. He's pretty cute, but like, I'm still kind of nervous that the AI is gonna be better. Oh. So you use two different filters because what did you, what did you say? Uh, one of them was way too realistic. Realistic. Okay. <laughs> All right. Show them. Oh, realistic. God, it's a nightmare. <laughs> say hello to Charles and Dingle Find the generator here. They say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said, hey Rich, yeah. who's that silhouette? That's Eddie Murphy. So using donkeys <laughs> silhouette and only donkey silhouette, I'm gonna create a brand new character. I'm not allowed to add or subtract from this shape in any way, which means I have to find uses <laughs> for all of these. I sh that's not a hand, right? So I've landed on this being like a mermaid tail, but I still don't know what this hairy bar. <laughs> It's going surprisingly well so far. Oh, I have yeah, not. Then where are her hands? <laughs> Dang it, Richard! Dang it, Richard! Why does it sound like you were waiting to say I, that? I was waiting for twenty minutes for you to add hands. She's a mermaid with no self-preservation skills. She is coated in fishnets and not the good kind. Catch me, fisherman, daddy! Catch me! You ever had old fish for dinner? Do you want to? <laughs> Sorry. Introducing <laughs> Madame the Catfish. She catfished many a fisherman in her day. Put on the next character here. So I heard that Fortnite is working with an artist to create a new character. And you know, I kind of want to try to make one too. So with that in mind, what if my husband was in Fortnite? Oh, their new character's name is Cos Peely and he's like this big cool banana man. Rich, on the other hand, I, I know he looks like a lumberjack and I'm going to make him one, but he's not quite... And I say rap, rap, rap. He could bring cotton candy to a battle and still win. But I really do appreciate like the good character design they have for him. I really like these these popcorn things coming out of his ear. I just had a thought like, are those popcorn kernels? What are the? Those better not be teeth. <sighs> this drawing is going in a slightly different direction than I assumed. <laughs> but like, I'm, I'm kind of here for it. The real question is what will Rich think? Richard, Richard, how do you feel about bananas? What? How do you feel about bananas? Uh, I love bananas. You love the Good. Why? That's great. What, 
That's great news. Talk about your forbidden fruit. <laughs> well, cause Peely and my husband are rich. <laughs> we just have to get his reaction. Okay, look. <laughs> oh Do you like him? I love yeah. him. I've drawn my husband as a lot of different things and a lot of different times. But what if other creators tried to draw my husband? <laughs> <laughs> Tonight will be the night that I will fall for you. Am I ready for art talk? You are! So much concentration. So much concentration. I like that because I'm shaking. Oh my god, it's lovely. Three. And I said, well, I like a root beer. My husband. Yeah. It's time. Well, yay, I mean, yay. <laughs> I'm a little terrified. <laughs> I'm excited though. Oh, oh my god! god. <laughs> it's so cute. I'm gonna draw my husband. Okay. Stop moving. <laughs> I said, stop moving. Okay. Let's move. No, you're still moving. Stop it. I, I, I can I see the whole. Oh, <laughs> look at you. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> Whoa. And who will our first character be? Oh, Louisa! <laughs> so they're gonna be strong and gorgeous. Who is she combined with? Oh! <laughs> Mr. Fredrickson! No! no! Rich, there's, there's, no there's hope! There's hope! Buff Grandma. What? Buff Grandma! So for those not in the know, I have to somehow combine the textbook definition of a crotchety old man <laughs> with a goddess. <laughs> Mommy is sorry. Most this is working! People really aren't buff, though. Oh! You are wrong. Let me introduce you to uh, Ernest Shepard. She is an 80-year-old bodybuilder, and she could snap you in half. If nothing else, this has taught me one thing. Old women of the world, you do not need life alert. No, no. You need deadlifts. <laughs> Leaving the saving of the earth to the men? I don't think so. Hard of hearing and hard of biceps. <laughs> this is one of the best ones I've ever done. Who's the abuela now? Find the generator here. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time, we did Jessica. But this time, we're doing the long-awaited, much-debated Chad. So we all know a Chad, but none of them are above the age of 25. What if they are? Well, then they won't be for long. Got him. <laughs> oh, and chads don't actually eat food. They are fueled entirely by protein powder, power lifting, and white claw. <laughs> now I know what you must be thinking. Not all chads are the same, right? right. Wrong! Without fail, every single chad's wardrobe consists of puka shell necklaces, gray sweatpants, and pastels. <laughs> the only people who wear more pastel than chad is a mom on Easter Sunday. <laughs> it's almost done, but I feel, I feel like something's <laughs> missing. Ah, there we go, the Ray-Bans. <laughs> With that, everyone say hello to your next door neighbor, Chad. He's pretty great. Chad is great. We are finally gonna watch Turning Red. And just based on <laughs> this image, I know it's gonna be great. And since it's been my biggest dream to work at Pixar, I'm gonna draw what I think I would look like if I was in Turning Red. We are two seconds in, and you know what? I had some of those. What are those? They are virtual pets that would die like really easily <laughs> but you would get really emotionally attached to them i own three of them <laughs> we all went through like cringy awkward stages when we were that age and i feel like it's really important and it's a good thing that they're showing it in the movie for example i used to put a pencil behind my ear because i thought it looked cool <laughs> Oh, no, no, <laughs> no, because I feel so called out right now. This was every single sketchbook I had in middle school. Just a lot of this, just too much. <laughs> Gone. Um, I used to wear a lot of tie-dye when I was that age, so rich. Yes, love of my life. <laughs> Could you look up tie-dye jackets for me? Stunning, darling. <laughs> and here I am in all my middle school glory. What do you guys think? Pretty close? As artists, it's sometimes hard to tell how far we've come and if we've really gotten any better. So as a way to test if I've gotten any better, I'm going to redraw some of my old artwork. And my loving husband Rich has decided that I'm going to redraw this piece that I made back in 2015. I, I had never done digital artwork back then and um, I was kind of obsessed with white gel pens. I spent like 30 minutes picking out one white gel pen and I'm like, can I just go home? I'm sorry! You know, the one thing I still do though... What? The, the outline. Bam! Outline! Oh, what's that as an outline? What do we have here? Another outline! Why do I do this? What is it accomplishing? It may 
may be seven years later, but you know what doesn't change? My need to do incessant details! See the pores? I added pores! Why, you might ask? Well, I don't know. No one else is going to see them, but I do. I see them. There's even texture in her freaking socks, man. I'm amazing. This one sort of gives like Becky vibes, you know, but this one, this one's Deborah. <laughs> I finally finished with Deborah, and uh, I, think, I think my style's changed just a wee tad in the last seven years. Which one do you guys like better? Okay, I've drawn lightning and Sally, Nick and Judy, Ruthless, Hola, Donkey, Sid, Ollie and Eve, and even Tom and Jerry as humans. But this time, you voted for Timon and Boom, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's time to draw warthogs and ground... Your prairie dog. <laughs> oh, I picture Pumba to be very loving and sweet. Timon, on the other hand, I picture basically like Ed and Nettie. These two drifters find an abandoned child and decide to raise him as their own. Don't you hate it when you know you have your girlfriend over for the first time in many years and your adopted dads are in the next room singing about how you're doomed to fail at life? What? And then your and then your dead dad shows up as a cloud and lectures you on responsibility. What? I certainly do. But welcome to sort of like a like a lazy tourist what vibe to them. Warthogs. <laughs> do you mean warthogs? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you you have a college degree. Do not know. <laughs> Say hello to Timon and Pumbaa. Stabs in all the pride lands. Hold on, the next character's here. I just gotta know. What if Disney princesses became villains? I've drawn quite a few Disney villains as beautiful princesses. But this time we're switching it up and seeing what would happen if we went the other way. So without further ado, let's make Anna into the villain she was destined to be. And you may be wondering why we're not doing Elsa. We want to see her really let it go. You may be surprised to find out, but Elsa was supposed to be a villain. And I don't think I could improve on these designs. Basically, what would Anna be like if she never found her strong, handsome, good boy and instead went with the design? Disgusting heart. Sucked in by those beautiful eyes. <laughs> are you pouting? I'm sorry, Luna. You have to go. This is the I think my husband's eyes are ugly corner. Are you freaking serious right now? I think the evil Anna would have very opulent taste to match her brand new disgusting husband. Even though Anna has her own crown in the second movie, I'm going to give her Elsa's crown from the first movie. Because she definitely killed her for it. <laughs> Here she is in all of her evil glory. <laughs> Who do you guys want to see next? So, I've drawn some uh, interesting pictures of my husband throughout the years. <laughs> but this year, I'm kicking it up a notch. And I'm making him into a PlayStation character. Well, first things first, I think we have to decide what kind of game my husband's going to be in. I think it would be a game where Rich is a wizard and he's looking for the nine magical cats in the land of Pa. And similar to God of War, we have a family dynamic in this game. We have Rich, we have me, I'm a cat, we have Luna and Kira. You're in the game! You know, you could show a little support. I do feed you! Every character is unique. You know, Kratos, he's very strong and powerful and rich! <laughs> he's adorable! And similar to Ratchet and Clank, I like games where you have a small character and a big character that work together. Well, I always like working with my big boy. <laughs> you know, I can hear you, right? And I go. <laughs> yeah, we're just like Ratchet and Clank. Inseparable duo. Now I'm trying to put Rich into a really colorful outfit, sort of like Amy. But I'm having a little bit of trouble picturing him in anything other than a dirty t-shirt. What are you doing? Nothing. Nosy, get out. Nice t-shirt. Thank you. Aloy, <laughs> fearless, determined, super cool outfit, just like me. Definitely me. It's done. And we have all of these super cool PlayStation characters in here. <laughs> and we have us. But now it's time to get the main character's reaction. What? Okay, look. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you like it? There's so many kitties. So I've been wondering, what if fast food companies went to private school? We know these companies now, but what were they before? A jock, a goth, a nerd! Hey! <laughs> and every once in a while a company reaches out and they say, Hey Audrey, what would we look like? And I say, what if Slurpee went to private school? <laughs> so I think Slurpee would be a science geek. Spending all of her days in the science lab mixing all the new drinks like you do when you get a Slurpee. <laughs> I only get cherry when I go. <laughs> you heathen. What is wrong with you? <laughs> you know what, Rich? What? I think I need to do a little bit of research. What? <laughs> what are we doing here? <laughs> research, Richard! I got it. No. <laughs> More. More? Do you have to mix them this time? Oh, uh, but cherry. <laughs> and back to the scientist. Oh, oh, she could be a slurpologist. I think the slurpee's going to your head. It's all gone, yeah. <laughs> I rest my case! I think it's safe to say she'd have the most energy out of all the other students. Instead of a backpack, she carries around her slurpee container, which might be why 
why she was invited to most parties. Oh, and just like Slurpee, she's always dressed in the most exuberant colors. Are you guys ready to meet your new best friend? <laughs> she may be messy and a little peppy, but you know what? She's always sweet. Say hello to Slurpee. Who do you guys want to see next? It's Valentine's Day, and usually that means my wife draws me. <laughs> but this time I'm gonna draw her. Fused with somebody random. And who am I combining with the love of my life? Big Bird! Oh god, she's gonna hate me. <laughs> I really gotta make sure I do a good job, so I'm gonna trace. Nobody tell my wife. She may be half Big Bird, but I'll be danged if she doesn't have some snexy legs. If anyone's worried that she might wake up, don't. I've got it covered. She'll never know. I finished it. I'm definitely not getting a present this year. It's time to show her now. Richard, you have to stop doing this. I know that it's not you. Happy Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. So guess what, honey? What? I drew you. Oh, good. Okay, look. <laughs> it's oh. you. Fused this big bird. <laughs> Find the generator here. They say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said, hey, Rich. Yeah. Who's that silhouette? That's Clefairy. <laughs> so, using Pikachu's <laughs> silhouette and only Pikachu silhouette, I'm going to create a brand new character. <laughs> I should add that I am not allowed to add or subtract from this shape in any way, which means I have to find uses for all the spiky bits. I have been trying. For 30 minutes to add feet to this thing. I can't do it. Okay. Had a break, had a snack, not that snack. Came back and now she's a beaver. And you may be asking yourself, Audrey, how does her being a beaver make her any easier to draw? Well, now I made her foot into a pepper and she's jalapeno business. Oh. <laughs> now ch chilly out, bro. That's the worst. <laughs> I'm a genius. Pikachu's tail is now a speech bubble. <laughs> It's Betty! Ah. <laughs> Let's draw something random with the fusion generator! <gasps> oh yeah! <laughs> and who will our first character be? <gasps> oh, Corella DeVille! <laughs> and who shall be combined with Miss DeVille? <laughs> I'm sure this is gonna turn out perfect! For those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this evil skunk lady! <laughs> likes to wear animal pelts with an animal can be a bit of a challenge. I should realize something. It makes sense why this character is obsessed with pelts and there aren't any more mammoths in the world. Oh, <laughs> this character's got some bumping hips and you might think Corella, but no, you are mistaken. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. Do you guys care about Sidella Desla? <laughs> Find the generator here. I'm going to redraw my husband's artwork. Oh, but I'm just sitting down. <laughs> Richard, not working. You have to try. Kicking <laughs> and screaming the entire time. What did you make? It's Madame Pony. <laughs> <laughs> so here's the goal. I have to redraw. Madam Ponyguard, in my own style. And you know what? Some days, there are days, there are days when I wonder, am I using my expensive art degree to its fullest extent? But then I get to draw people like Madam Ponyguard and her magical sheep. That's and I a think, horse. That's not... obviously a horse. Oh, is it? I'm not changing it. Her name it. is Madam Pony. It's too late. You can't win me over with your words. You know what? I was originally kind of worried about all the gold, thinking it wouldn't work, but it works since she has a sun on her head. That is a sun. Yeah. That's a, That's a sun? It's not some kind of weird cactus, is it? Well, I'm just checking. You never know. It could be a horse. This is the most stressful thing I've created, but everyone say hello to Madame Ponyguard. Is she everything you dreamed of, Rich? Yeah. Could have had a horse, though. I swear to God. Wanna play a game? Oh, God. <laughs> well, too bad. It's guess who? But for those not in the know, this is a game where Rich has to describe someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. All right, Rich. Tell me about this character. Well, he's kind of tall. He's tall. And he's strong, like puh. <laughs> <laughs> like puh? Is this puh enough for you? Uh, it's pretty puh. It's pretty puh. I just want to make sure he's not lacking a puh. He's got a ton of hair, like so much hair. Oh, is it like is it like healthy hair or like? Um, he conditions. <laughs> we got the hair. We got the bod. We got the facade. How's the fit? Uh, what fit? His clothes. What's he wearing? Nothing. <laughs> I can't draw that, Rich! Okay, well, he 
He's wearing a fur coat. Why am I doing this? <laughs> oh, his hair and his coat or whatever are blue and purple. Here's mine! Wow! What was it? Sully! No! <laughs> They say you can recognize a good character by its silhouette. That being said, hey, Rich. What? Who's that silhouette? Um, that's Remy. Nope. But that is Remy. Well, it's Remy for now. Using Remy silhouette and only Remy silhouette, I'm gonna create a brand new character. <laughs> I should say I'm not allowed to add or subtract from the shape in any way, which means I don't know what I'm gonna do about their feet. <laughs> oh my God! You guys, you guys, you guys, 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 no, guys! This is gonna be a. Now that I know she's a witch, everything's coming together so perfectly! Everything! Except for the rat tail! I am a genius! The rat tail? It's a rat tail! Isn't that cheating? No! These are my rules! Audrey rules! Not Richard rules! These yeah, are Richard rules! Richard rules! He's the best! <laughs> yeah. I hate you! <laughs> Who's that silhouette? It's Remy! It's Margaret! Margaret? <laughs> yeah, it's Margaret and Sir Squibbles! <laughs> Who do you want to see next? You guys know Call Me Chris! Yeah. <laughs> well, three times now I've drawn all of her characters! But nay, I cannot rest. What are you doing? For she has made more! So, without further ado, let's start with one of my new personal favorites! <laughs> you best move out of the way when Chriselle comes in the room. Move out of the way, Rich. What? Move out of the way, Rich! Chriselle's new TV show, Keeping Up With Chris, got me like Kim Kardashian, huh? <laughs> this next character may even be less grounded in reality. <laughs> I'm Amanda. Amanda definitely turns every single car ride into a therapy session. <laughs> Coincidentally, after you get out of her car, you also need a therapy session. <laughs> oh, and last but not least, we have my new colleague. You know, I have been compared to other artists. I want to argue, but I know people like this. <laughs> you know what? I admit it. Gunter is superior. <laughs> this drawing is my Winchester mansion. It will never be done. <laughs> Who's your favorite? <laughs> Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> Woo! <laughs> And who is going to be first? Ooh, Mrs. Incredible Stretchy Queen! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What are you going to do? I don't, I don't know! <laughs> so for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine this beautiful Kirby Queen with that! <laughs> this isn't working! Rich! Have stretchy arms that can reach all the things. Are you okay? <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> this thing shouldn't exist! Oh. <laughs> Let me just say, I'm sorry! I'm sorry for making this! I'm the generator in my bio. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> <laughs> oh. Hey, I spy a dumpy. Oh. And who will our first character be? <laughs> oh, Russell from Up! And who's gonna be combined with cute little Russell? Oh, This adorable little little <laughs> wilderness <laughs> jelly bean with a spicy octopus. I have restarted five times. I cannot. I can't get a middle point. Help me! I hate. I I hate it. I. <laughs> Fifth time's the charm. I went a little younger, and it's it's not it's not bad. She is going to be a marine biologist scout leader who's just a little bit sus. <laughs> oh, and she definitely makes all of her students sing Disney songs on the bus. <laughs> the generator here i'm going to redraw my husband's artwork <laughs> what are we doing uh, i don't draw i do computer things <laughs> well today you make art you make art for your lovely wife <laughs> all right let's see it oh, <laughs> what is this it's sir vinegar the pickle <laughs> so here's the goal i have to redraw sir, sir vinegar the pickle <laughs> thank you i have to redraw sir vinegar the pickle uh exactly as he is but in my own style richard does Sir Vinegar have an axe? Yes. For a wizard staff for a particular reason? I'm kinda I'm kinda living for the feathers in his hat. Uh what feathers? Those aren't feathers? Oh, oh they're feathers, they're feathers. What, what are those, Richard? You know, I thought it was gonna be bad, but I'm not really hating the blush. He's just going for like 
like a, a Pikachu moment. All right, guys. <laughs> Sir Vinegar to Pickle is done. What do you think of your character, Rich? I love him as much as a man could love a pickle. <laughs> what does that mean? Guys, today's my wife's birthday. Since she's always drawing me, this time I'm gonna draw her. Fused with someone random. <laughs> Who's lucky enough to be fused with my beautiful wife? Smokey the Bear. <laughs> I'm gonna do it now. It's gonna suck. We have to make a really pretty hot bear. S the Smokey the Hot Bear. The smoking Hot Bear. I'm just gonna admit right now that I'm gonna be tracing just a little bit. Just, just a little. They might have a lot in common. Like Audrey's cute. And Smokey's a bear and he's cute. As much as I would like to, I'm not gonna draw her shirtless. And if that's why you're here, you can get out, get out. It's done and uh, it looks great. And oh my God, I thank God I got her a good present too. Now we're gonna see what the birthday girl thinks. Hey honey. Why are you videoing me? I drew you. <laughs> you drew me? Yeah. Okay, look. <laughs> it's you fused with Smokey the bear. It's your bear ears! <laughs> Find the generator here. So I've drawn lightning and Sally. Toothless! Olaf! Sid! Wally and Eve! And a lot of others as humans. But this time, you guys overwhelmingly voted for Tom and Jerry? I'm really surprised, but let's do Tom and Jerry! Since Tom and Jerry was actually a show started in the 40s, I'm gonna give them 40s outfits. <laughs> Ask Rich if they ever wore any outfits in this show before, <laughs> and just... <laughs> I can't put him in that room. He rich. looks good. No. Not doing the orange and the and the green. Oh, but that's the best part. No, it's, no, it's not. I gotta get me one of those. <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare. Tom definitely cares a little bit more about his appearance. You know, he's out here looking looking suave in his best suit, but Jerry, <laughs> Jerry's looking ratty. You like my pun? Oh, honey. <laughs> hey, hey, nice pun. <laughs> I love Jerry and all, but Tom, Tom's hitting a bit different here. What does that mean? Nothing. I'm, I'm not simping for Tom. Stop it! Here they are, Tom and Jerry. They have never looked better. <laughs> Vote on the next character here. It's been quite a while since I've drawn any interesting pictures of my husband. <laughs> and the lovely uptime Princess Dress Up has given me a golden opportunity. So that means it's time to draw my husband. Let's find an outfit for me to draw him in. You know, it's pretty, but I don't think it's quite screaming Goddess Richard to me. <laughs> it's just many beautiful options for him. I found the perfect outfit. I'm gonna turn him into a witchy princess for fall. I always wonder if one of these years, one of these drawings is gonna make him realize that he should have left me just years ago. How long has Rich's beard gotten recently? Mona secret mention. Mona secret. I can't hear you. <laughs> what are you doing? Nothing. What are you doing? I don't know. Since his beard's gotten pretty long and he's a witch, I'm gonna make his beard star shaped. I've always thought Rich had really good legs for thigh highs or fishnets. Not to mention. <laughs> no! There is a lot of detail in these clothes, but that's fine, you know what? Because only the best, only the best for my pumpkin spice. <laughs> you guys have finished me witchy richy! But what does witchy richy think? What did you call <laughs> Okay, look. <laughs> <laughs> You're the best time princess to me, honey. <laughs> Go and find your own outfit. Find the game here. It's Halloween. And that means it's time to draw my husband and my best friend. They have foolishly allowed me to design their costumes this year. I am going to be berries. Rich is going to be cream. And a certain best friend is going to be a little lad. Drawing's done. But now I gotta, I gotta make the costumes. I didn't necessarily find a cream costume for Rich, but I found a milk carton. I got you a morph suit. Try it on. Okay. <laughs> I think I've forgotten about you. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think we might need to cut the wig. Mommy's gonna give me the little lad haircut. Don't do this. <laughs> you guys aren't ready for these costumes. Do you know what it's time for? Buddies! Buddies! Buddies and watch out! Cream! Cream! Oh. Oh. It's a So for a while now, I've been working on one of the 50 states were live. And you know, Rich, I think it's time for a recap. Oh so far we have Florida, Oregon, Minnesota, Arizona, Alaska, Wisconsin, Georgia, Utah, Washington, Colorado, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Jersey, New York, Hawaii, Ohio, Idaho, Nevada, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, New Mexico, Oklahoma, Texas.
Texas, Delaware, Montana, and Pennsylvania. I took a little break from the series. It was it was a lot. But I'm ready to get back into it. And I need your guys' help because I don't know enough about your states. So please let me know what makes your state interesting. And what states do you guys want to see next? So you've heard of Bones No Bones Day. It's about Noodles, the dog. Every day Noodles owner wakes him up and if he can stand, it's a Bones Day. And if he can't stand, it's a No Bones Day. So I'm going to create a drawing for Bones Day and No Bones Day. What is a Bones Day? It's a good day. Oh. And a No Bones Day is a bad day. Oh. Let's start with No Bones. For this drawing, I really want Noodles to look like he's got... No bones! No bones day is a good day for some self-care and to lay in a pile of your own drool. <laughs> oh my gosh, what's wrong with your bread? No, that's my dog. If a no bones day's got noodles feeling weak, <laughs> then I know what must be done for the bones day. <laughs> muscle pug, muscle pug, I'm drawing a muscle pug. Noodles doesn't look like spaghetti, he looks like a whole beefy ravioli. <laughs> sure, do you like bone puns? No. Really? You don't find them humorous? Oh. <laughs> Are you ready for the reveal? <laughs> Here's no bones day! <laughs> You guys need to prepare yourselves for Bones Day. Are you seated? Have you had some water? You need some water. Get some water. You got your water? Here's Bones Day. Whether it's a no Bones Day or a Bones Day, just have a great day. So when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? Last time we did our boy Mike. But this time we're doing Jessica. All right, first off, Jessica is the mom of the friend group. Not only is she busy taking care of everyone else, but her purse contains everything, including Kleenex, pain meds, and dry deer jerky. <laughs> if it's the apocalypse, find yourself. Jessica. Jessica is really on top of everything, except for the thousands of DIYs she started and never finished. Let us have a moment of silence for all of the unused paint and contact paper. But you never finished DIYs either. Shh, no, 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 moment of silence. You know those signs in people's homes that say girl boss and but first coffee? Uh, yeah. She has all of them in her home. Coincidentally, fall is actually Jessica's favorite season. <laughs> the fresh smell of pumpkin spice on all of Jessica's sweaters. <laughs> Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> Water stained Uggs. Everybody make sure to say hello to your neighbor, Jessica. What name do you guys want to see next? So, I've been wondering, what if fast food restaurants went to private school? What? I know these icons now, but what were they before? A jock, a nerd, a goth? Starting with Wendy's and Taco Bell. Uh -huh. Now, you might think Wendy's is sassy now, but I can guarantee you she was even more sassy back then. <laughs> back in the day during her goth phase. Wendy's was a good student, but she sometimes got mouthy with her professors. <laughs> Her Draco Malfoy. <laughs> and at the school talent show, her roasts are fresh, never frozen. <laughs> Bitch, do you know what these burger skulls say to me? What? They say I will absolutely curse your entire franchise if you keep copying up on my homework! What? Taco Bell, on the other hand, was a good boy with nacho sunglasses. <laughs> and what, you may be asking, was his passion before becoming an absolute icon? <laughs> well, they were a band geek. A percussion <laughs> band geek. I know what you're thinking, he may be a band geek, but he's still a blast. <laughs> a Baja blast. <laughs> When I'm modeling his outfit after my husband's old band uniform. No, you're not. Yes, I am. <laughs> Let's take a look at the first students to enter fast food private oh, school. Hey, hello to Wendy's and TV. I wish I were this cool or this precious. <laughs> Who do you guys want to see next? I just gotta know. What if Disney villains became princesses? So far, we've done Jafar, Hades, Gaston, Dr. Facilier. And Kronk. But this time, it's going to be a little different because it's time to do the god of mischief himself, Loki. There are no men like me. And there definitely won't be any princesses like you either. <laughs> Every time I draw a sassy princess, I always feel the need to put like a really high slit up her dress. I did the same thing with Hades, and you cannot tell me these two wouldn't be best friends. I also feel the need to point out that Loki can already look like this if you'd like to, because he can literally transform into anything or anyone. Wait. Ah, what was that for? <laughs> Just checking. Oh, and she's got to have an animal sidekick, and I think we already know what Loki's is going to be. He transformed himself into a snake, and he knows that I love snakes. So I went to pick up the snake to admire it, and he transformed back into himself, and he was like, yeah, it's me, and he stabbed me. Loki is definitely the kind of princess that if she finds out your prince is cheating on you, bam, he's got itching powder in his undies. Wait, oh my god, you got... <laughs> I'm in love. I'm I'm gonna get married to this woman. I'm sorry. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> and who will our first character be? Ooh, Rapunzel! Ooh, I love whole it. New world. That's not Rapunzel. What? <laughs> get out of the cushion ridge. No. You can't hide from the comments! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Combine this absolute goddess <laughs> with a scungy beach ball. <laughs> this thing is cursed. Yeah, I've decided to lean a little bit more under her feet.
teachers. And you know what? It was the right choice. A whole new curse. A horrible thing I'm forced to draw. Okay, wait. This actually might be working. Guys, beach ball princess? Yeah, yeah. Beach ball princess? Yeah. I thought I was going to hit her over the head with a frying pan, but like, I'm on board with this. Like Shrek who? That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Find the generator here. Okay, we've drawn Lightning and Sally. Nick and Judy. Toothless. Olaf. Appa, a boy Stitch, Mushu, Donkey, and even Sid as humans. Heritage. Why are we whispering? That's a lot of characters. Yeah. This time, you guys overwhelmingly voted for Wally and Eve. <laughs> you know what? I knew this day would come, and I have both been dreading it and dying to do it. <laughs> the hardest part of this is trying to make a human face to go with this. Let's not, let's not kid ourselves. This is mainly going to be about personality. We got ourselves a post-apocalyptic body and a garbage <laughs> goober. <laughs> I didn't know you were in this movie. <gasps> I've decided to model his outfit after Cornelius from Hello Dolly. With one exception, his Sunday bests are made out of trash. <laughs> Eve looks like she stepped out of an episode of Star Trek. Oh my god, I'm so proud of myself. I couldn't figure out how to do her eyes, but then glasses. <laughs> also, Wally's tie is a Ziploc bag. I am, I am so good. <laughs> here they Aww. are, they're so cute. <laughs> you two were the hardest thing I've ever had to draw. Vote on the next characters here. <laughs> what? What are you yelling about? Make this. Into a person. <laughs> the lemon? <laughs> you said you had our block. Pretty please. Oh With lemons on top. Oh <laughs> so apparently we're doing this. <laughs> what if lemons <laughs> were alive? <laughs> I guess we're just gonna start with like the shape of a lemon? He's a lemon, so he's gotta be like a sourpuss with his nose in the air. And I think he'd be like a very like pompous, uptight, rich kid. My da da drives a Rolls Royce. <laughs> rich, I've started drawing. You can put the lemon down He's now. My friend. His name is Leonard. <laughs> <laughs> Alright then, Leonard's real best friend is Salty. No. This is Salty. Okay, here's the lemon. Here he is. <laughs> And if you want to learn how to make characters like that, come on September 9th to Varsity Tutors. It's all about fall, it's online, it's free. I hope to see you guys there. You can find the info here. Hey, Rich. What? You want to play a game? Oh, no. Well, too bad, it's Guess Who. So for those that don't know, this is Guess Who, a game where Rich has to describe <laughs> someone, and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. So, Rich, tell me about this man. Uh, well, he's really short. And okay. he's really happy. <laughs> Oh, oh, he's really short and happy. Oh, thanks, Rich. Here to help. Yeah, uh huh. Oh, are you? Are there any other details you'd like to give me? Well, he's got big ears. <laughs> big ears. He's wearing red shorts okay. and no shirt. Oh, he's shirtless, is he? And he's 92 years old. <laughs> Ew! I thought you were talking Baywatch, not Life Alert. Why is he wearing a watch? <laughs> because old shirtless men always wear Rolexes. <laughs> I'm assuming he has gray hair then. Actually, he has black hair and black. it's all over him. <laughs> An old shirtless yeah. hairy man. <laughs> this is the least favorite thing I've ever made. Who is it? Mickey Mouse. <laughs> so when I talk about a Karen, you guys know who I'm talking about. But what about the other names? What would your name look like to me? <laughs> Last time we did Linda Fabulous Linda. But this time we're doing Mike. 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 <laughs> First and foremost, Mike's entire personality exists in his front lawn. <laughs> Think about it. Have you ever met a young Mike? No. No! They all emerge at the age of 35 from either perfectly mown grass or the home improvement aisle of Home Depot. <laughs> Mikes radiate like pure dad energy. What if there's a younger Mike. Oh, he won't exist for long. What? They'll get him. What the oh, and you might be thinking to yourself, Mike's entire personality is just grass and grills, but you'd be wrong! You'd be so wrong! If you happen to find yourself invited into the home of a Mike, you might notice their superb sound system. <laughs> That's in order to watch all of their war documentaries! When you turn up the bass, you can really feel the explosions! But come springtime, all the Mikes shed their North Face coats and don their Wrangler jeans only to cut them into the fabulous jorts! Let me introduce you to your friendly neighborhood Mike! <laughs> I think it's time for a drawing challenge with Casey Art. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to pick a random person here and we're going to draw, not not him, <laughs> not my husband. <laughs> and then they are going to pick which one of us they think is better. What is that? It's going to be. <laughs> we have chosen our tribute. <laughs> are you ready? I'm ready. <laughs> Go! I, I forgot how awkward it is to yell in public. What are you doing with my Richard, other tablet? Richard, what, what are you nothing? doing? What are you doing? doing are you drawing? I told you it wasn't gonna be us. We're not gonna win. I'm doing the outfit. Oh, oh she's gone. <laughs> she's gone. Come back to me, sweet.
sweet lady, so I can draw you. It's time. Here's Casey's. Look at them shoes. Here's mine. I think I think it's pretty good. And then <laughs> we have a late entry. And the winner is definitely this one. Ah! Richard wins. <laughs> I'm getting a new tattoo. Oh, no. <laughs> but I'm not completely sure what I'm going to get, so help me pick my next tattoo. <laughs> Option number one, we have this gorgeous piece with me and Rich. Oh, he's so, he's so cute. Look at his <laughs> freaking face. I'm going to get you, I'm going to get you right on my A. <laughs> I don't want my face to touch the toilet. <laughs> Option number two, there's just something about what? sexy Washington. You cannot get that. I can so get that. The question is, where do I get him? On your nowhere. On your nowhere limb. Where is where is my nowhere limb? Audrey. <laughs> what? You cannot get him. <laughs> Moving on. Very moving on. Option number three. French toast. So French toast was actually the first character I've ever animated. You disapprove. He's very near and dear to my heart, lovelies. <laughs> and option number four is something my husband's drawn. I haven't seen it. Show me. It's you as a very oh, <laughs> Oh, oh, good. So, I've been thinking, what if the Olympics was made by Pixar? I am going to pick six athletes and draw them as Pixar characters. <laughs> Starting with... Why only six? Why, <laughs> why only six? 2020 Olympics, there are 11,500... That <laughs> That's why! Pixar's really good at making characters that make us feel strong and motivated, and nobody does that better than Simone Biles. Simone is not only an amazing athlete, but an amazing person, and I am so glad to be drawing her. And of course, her amazing teammate, Suni Lee. Pixar would totally push Suni's commanding attitude, thus the jawline! And next, we have a very celebratory Katie Ledecky. I would, I would swim with you anywhere, woman. I would swim with Oh, and I can't forget about our TikTok lord and savior, Ilona Mar. <laughs> Ilona, I wanted to include your hat, but like, come on! You're amazing! And I gotta include Momiji, the 13-year-old who won gold in skateboarding! <laughs> And last but not least, from Philippines, Hyland Diaz, the first person to win gold for her country. <laughs> I would watch that Pixar movie. Heck yeah. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. Oh, God. <laughs> Your belief in me is overwhelming. <laughs> who will our first character be? Ooh, Elsa! And who will be combined with our icy queen? Oh, no! <laughs> Squidward! How are we gonna do this one? <laughs> this winter wonderland of a woman <laughs> with <laughs> this disappointing squid dude i have no reference point he is a freaking alien there's something wrong with his head i am i am really focusing on the tentacle part of squidward tentacles he is thicker than a snicker heavy like a chevy come on calamari let me let me I hate calamari. Would I would give my soul for this drawing to not exist. I hate myself for making this. Find the generator here. So when I talk about a Karen, you all know what I'm talking about. But what do I picture for other names? What would your name look like to me? And we're gonna start with Linda. So to me, Linda's the kind of person that puts puts girls in the front and boys boys in the back. back of what? Get in the back. That's right, Linda. Everything you got, you bought, because boys can't buy your love. <laughs> Linda spends her weekends wine tasting with her girls, Debbie and uh, Mona Lisa in Napa County. <laughs> what? <laughs> and on her couch, she has a pillow that says, Namaste in bed, and her wardrobe consists of these shirts. <laughs> I can honestly say, with my whole heart, there is no one in this world who can take on a Karen, except for a Linda. She is ready to go, Mr. Mitz with Karen. Oven Mitz, that is. Because Linda, Linda is the PTA baking champ. Her Rice Krispie treats could feed thousands. And without further ado, take a look at Linda. <laughs> what name do you guys want to see next? It's my dad's birthday. And like a good daughter, the best, the best daughter in the world, I thought I would draw him. You know, I should probably specify I'm drawing a picture of my dad and his husband, Chuck. <laughs> I drew them years ago at their wedding. Like, I can't find it, but it probably looks something like this. But that looks so good. Shut up! <laughs> I'm giving my dad, like, a pretty good size nose, because we're, like, we're like a family of substantial sniffers. <laughs> you know, people say I look like my dad. <laughs> which, you know, is, is fine until you realize that people say my dad looks like my grandpa. <laughs> which just means I know what I'm going to look like when I'm old. <laughs> look, even your hair is turning white. <laughs> it's bleach!
It's done! Now I just gotta drive over to their house in the middle of the night and get their reaction. Okay, open them. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like it? That looks good! Thank you. So, I've done a lot of different things as humans over the years. And every once in a while a company reaches out and they say, Hey Audrey, what would we look like if we were humans? And I say, what if Febreze was alive? So I think Febreze would be like the Greek god of scent. <laughs> May the great god Febrezus rain down on us with his heavenly sense through his beautiful cloud. Which kind of makes sense since Febreze air uses 100% natural propellant and water-based formula. <laughs> Wait, they trademarked air. Don't breathe! And since he is the great god of smell, he needs to have a nose the size of Mount Everest. I'm also making him look very chill and comfortable because a good scent cures all. Hold up. <laughs> no, nope, still broken, but it smells great in here. You know, because it eliminates odors. <laughs> just realized that this man would smell absolutely amazing. And Janelle, he ain't half bad looking either. Excuse me? <laughs> Step aside, boys, because this is Hot God Summer. You can find a piece of this Hot God in my bio. I just gotta know, what if Disney villains became princesses? We got Jafar, Hades, Gaston, Dr. Fessily, and Fes Fessilier? The Shadow Man! But now it's time for one I've been waiting for. Crunk! Poison, poison for Cusco. The poison chosen specially to kill Cusco. Cusco's poison. And before y'all like come for me down in the comments, like he's not a villain. He's a nice guy. I know, but he deserves this. And besides, he's already halfway there. He can already talk to animals. By the way, the squirrel is apparently called Bucky. I give Bucky a spinach pop. Bro, I am so excited to be drawing another buff princess. Look at those arms. Move over, Gaston. You ain't the sole swole any mole. <laughs> I don't know. Tell me I'm wrong, but Kronk will be lifting weights with Gaston in the morning. Baking in the afternoon with Tiana. Chatting it up with Cinderella's mice in the evenings. Pretty much all around. Kronk makes the perfect princess. I think I'm in love. Rich. What? I have art block. Oh. Get in here and help me! But I'm busy petting kitties. <laughs> can you please draw me some shapes so that I can turn into faces? Fine, Luna. I guess you don't matter. <laughs> oh, so rich! Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's gonna draw me some shapes, some interesting shapes, and I, I'm gonna turn those shapes into faces! Okay, I can work. I can work with most of these, but... <laughs> what is this? I don't know. It could be a helicopter. <laughs> okay, I'm ignoring that. We're starting with Lady Violet. I think Lady Violet bakes pies. How can you tell? It's in her smile. What? That is the face of a woman who makes Boston pecan pie. <laughs> this man looks like the guy who steals her lawnmower. No one's yard is better than my yard. I have, I have superior grass. Okay, this one's my favorite so far. <laughs> I made discount Bo Burnham. Hey, look, I made you some content. Oh, goody, this one. <laughs> when in doubt, make a Karen and a squirrel. You guys know, call me Chris. Chris. Yeah? Well, choice now, I've drawn all of her characters. <laughs> but by gum and gosh, gosh darn it, she made more. So say hello to Carpal Tunnel, because I'm going to draw all of them. <laughs> so why don't we start with someone a little close to a certain Chad's heart? That's right, it's Bex. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we all went through a phase where we thought we were as cool as Bex, but none of us, none of us really were. Even you. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed my key. Move over, Courtney, I'm betting on Bex. And up next is... What's that music? <laughs> oh my, if it isn't Scout Leader Boone and his assistant Walter. Okay, so Walter gives me like heavy Dwight Schrute vibes. But this guy, <laughs> he reminds me of one man and one man only. Take the lead! <laughs> Moving on! We have a couple additions to Janet and Riley's family. <laughs> Janet's father and her evil twin sister. And Katrina's got some family, Boris, Svetlana, and James. And then we have Natalie and Tom. <laughs> Who's your favorite? Oh dear God. We've drawn Lightning and Sally, Nick and Judy, Toothless, Ola, Appa, Stitch, Ooh, Mushu, and Donkey as humans. Rich! Oh god. <laughs> Is that a bagel? That's a lot of characters. And this time it was really close. But you guys voted for Sid! <laughs> the Sid! Needless to say, I'm a little excited. Oh, are you sure? Shut <laughs> Put the floor bagel down. <laughs> Lizard. And well, for body shape, he'd be a nice round, a juicy, a purr. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy who, like, always has Cheeto dust on his hands, even though he's not eating Cheetos! Where did he get the Cheeto? No! No, no bagel! Stop eating scungy floor bagel! 
just some last minute touches and say hello to our favorite slacker. Hold on, the next character here. So you guys have heard the text of speech has changed. And uh, it's a little different. Well, hello there, my cute Richie boy. And since we know nothing about her, I'm gonna draw her. So first and foremost, she's a valley girl. We're talking double mocha chai latte up on a Thursday afternoon. Hella valley. And to that end, I feel like her outfit really needs to emulate a certain somebody from the movie Clueless. Since I'm drawing like the TikTok voice instead of like this actual woman, I'm gonna make her look a little robotic. And you might be asking yourself, Audrey, why does she look like the happy face emoji had a baby with the freaking son? Because she could be talking about a bag of icky old toenails and still sound like liquid sunshine. We gotta give this poor woman some reading glasses because she's gotta read all of our crap. Rich, I think she needs a pet. I'm gonna let her choose. Kitty kit tickety. Goosey goosey goosey. <laughs> Let's draw something random. With... <laughs> the fusion generator. Why do you look curtain? And who will our first character be? <laughs> oh, the fairy godmother so sassy. And who will this queen be combined with? Oh. Oh. <laughs> this feels like a crime! So for those that don't know, I have to somehow combine sassy <laughs> with swole! So basically, this person couldn't be more into themselves unless they were up their own butthole! Top, he may be built like a truck. But <laughs> he definitely rides a tricycle. Oh no, Rich. What? Oh no, Rich, no. And every last inch of me's covered with hair. Ah! Okay, I know I complained, but I don't hate it. <laughs> Why don't I hate it? Stop it. Stop. I'm learning too much about myself. I took this and this and give you this button. <laughs> Find the generator here. We're drawing EOS! They sent us ice cream whip ball. Ice cream? <laughs> and since each one seems so unique, I thought I would draw them even though you can't eat them. <laughs> Starting with Peach Sickle. I'm gonna make her short, plump, and done up. Blackberry Hibiscus, however, I think it's very studious tall girl energy. What do you mean? <laughs> You're not tall! And last but certainly not least, his rainbow sherbet very small and rambunctious. And here they are. Who do you like best? It's Mother's Day. So I thought I'd draw my mom doing something random. All right, mother, what are you doing? <laughs> That's an evil queen. Let me, let me tell you a little bit about my mother. My mom is the kind of person that will uh, like make you a healthy snack and take real good care of you when you're sick. But she's also the person that took me doorbell ditching as a kid and uh, flooded her college campus. So yeah. Needless to say, she's a pretty epic mom. Now, all that being said, I'm not sure how she's gonna react to being an evil queen. Especially because I haven't seen her in like a year because of COVID. Oh, hi, mom. Haven't seen oh. you in a while. Hope you're doing well. I'm doing just fine. I swear I don't hate you, <laughs> even though I drew you as an evil queen. <laughs> well, <laughs> time to see how much my mom loves me. Now we just have to get the reaction. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, open them. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge with Casey Art. Oh, and uh, Rich is here. <laughs> and we are gonna draw each other as a mer people, which means I have to draw this saucy bean, and you, you have to draw me. <laughs> and uh, you, you get to, you get to watch. <laughs> okay, twenty minutes and go. There is, there is no time for water. There. <laughs> you know, I'm thinking, I'm thinking instead of a mermaid, you're more like, like an electric eel. <laughs> <laughs> That's a bee! We gonna draw ourselves an electric eel kissy and then we take it higher. Okay, I'm coloring. What are you doing? What are you doing? First, we have Casey's. So look at me, I'm a tiger. And then we have mine. Late entry there. <laughs> What if the vaccines were alive? And you know we about to do Pfizer! Oh, say what? <laughs> <laughs> and if we're sticking with
with this idea that they're Hogwarts houses. I think he has like Ravenclaw vibes. Mmm, <laughs> Daddy Pfizer has quite the chest on. Sorry, Professor Daddy Pfizer. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Professor Daddy Pfizer. <laughs> well, since he's, since he's 95% effective, I thought I'd make him 95% legs. You know how they store Pfizer in such cold temperatures? Well, I think I know why. You gotta keep this hottie on a. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> okay. What, what should he be wearing? I don't know, maybe a cardigan? Maybe a sweater? I like mm. sweater. What do, you, what do you think? Some pants? <laughs> pants? <laughs> you know, I've got Pfizer in me. I got that man inside me. Uh, yeah, we, we, all, we all do, Casey. That man gets around. <laughs> you know, he's not just 95% effective. He's 95% attractive! <laughs> Daddy Pfizer. <laughs> Okay, we've drawn Lightning and Sally, Nick and Judy, this is a toothless, Olaf, Appa, Stitch, and even Mushu as humans. That's a lot of characters. <laughs> you good? I just wanted some milk. And this time it was so close, but you guys voted for Donkey. Hey, me, anyone. Oh, oh, pick me. Oh, I know. So let's turn this burrow into a bullio. <laughs> as always, we start it with the body type, and he's gotta, he's gotta be, you know, pretty, pretty thick around the middle with just... <laughs> Legs for seconds. <laughs> He's gotta be like, like in your face, obnoxious and loud, like, <laughs> like me. No. no. You're right. He's not like me. He's actually cool. He's the friend of the road trip trying to get everyone to still sing show tunes. Three hours into the road trip, <laughs> he's got some major cheekage on this oh, man. He's an ass man. Oh my god. I'm in his face. <laughs> Jeez. Say hello to Donkey. Vote on the next character here. Wanna play a game? Oh god. <laughs> so for those not in the know, this is Guess Who? A game where Rich has to describe someone and I, I have to draw them and see how close I can get. Now Rich, I know you're excited, but please, <laughs> if you could calm down for a moment to tell me about her face and body shape. Well, she's short and round. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Slow down there, tiger. I'm picturing like a, like a spunky old lady. I don't know, she's like a kid, but like spunky. A so, kid. Yeah. A spunky kid. <laughs> We got a small round smoky kid? Tell me about her clothes. You're gonna hate this. <laughs> it's like the clothes you used to wear as a child. <gasps> no! <laughs> Dare I even ask about the hair? Um, think about Lord Farquaad, but with uh, poofier hair. <laughs> oh my god, this poor child! Colors, go! Black hair, yellow pants, pink shirt, and brown skin. Okay, here's who I made! Who was it? <laughs> it was Dora the Explorer! Oh my god! I'm gonna draw the vaccines as people. Starting with Moderna. I feel like each vaccine has basically become like its own Hogwarts house. <laughs> instead of having things like Godric Gryffindor, we have Madame Moderna. And since the Madame is 94% effective, I am going to make her a strong, independent woman. I mean, you know, she's out here saving lives. With them thick thighs. I'm also making her just a little bit. Older, you know, cause, cause Madame Moderna has only been approved for adults. <laughs> what is that face about? What do you mean? <laughs> that the vaccine's only for adults? Yeah. That it, they haven't done the testing. What are you, <laughs> wait, what are you talking about? I feel like she's the kind of person you'd meet at the bar and two hours later she's your best friend. Completely elegant, but completely willing to throw down if necessary. See, who's that sexy vaccine I see over there? Oh, that's Madame Moderna. <laughs> <laughs> I've already drawn Rich as a superhero, a fall guy, and a Disney villain. But Rich has been so excited to watch Godzilla vs. King Kong that I'm gonna... No, Richard, I'm not filming you. I'm not filming... So I wondered, what would happen if I mixed this monster of a man with Godzilla? <laughs> Godzilla is about 400 feet tall, so I'm gonna have to accentuate the bodaciousness of my boy. <laughs> don't get me wrong, I love my husband, but I don't think he would say no to being so big that you could destroy an entire city. <laughs> Now, I've already watched the movie, so I already know who who wins. Who win Richard, Richard, you can't hide behind the curtain. This is a surprise. Richard might be a big monster right now, but he's always been a big softie for cats. <laughs> now, I know that man's only going to use his nuclear breath to make atomic hearts for me in the sky. Oh, my. Well, I guess not only hearts. What? Say hello to Rich as Godzilla. Oh, my God. Look at the face. More like Sasilla. Here you go, Rich. Here's your surprise. What? It, well, if that's how you feel about it, my- I think it's finally time we ask. What if Spring was alive? As always, let's start with a sketch. So, I'm gonna make her vacuuming, you know, cause like, spring cleaning. I feel like she'd also look just a little bit tired. 
tired. You know, she just woke up, has to clean like Sleeping Beauty. Move over. Spring has sprung and she is fierce. Fierce. <laughs> might have lost it. He's built like a tree, long legs for days. No, but like, I'm actually making her look like a cherry tree. I actually feel like Spring has that energy of that friend that you invite over to hang out, but all they want to do is clean your freaking room. You know who you are. I didn't clean your room. I cleaned your bathroom. Oh yeah, big difference. She's got a bird's nest in her hair, you know, because Easter and also because, you know, she's just a little chaotic. She's hot and she's cold. She's cleaning up the snow. She's warm in the <laughs> Rain. It's springtime and it's insane. Let's draw something random with the fusion generator. <gasps> Woo! Uh, and who is gonna be first? Ooh, Mrs. Incredible Stretchy Queen! And who is lucky enough to be combined with her? Oh my god! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> what are you gonna do? <laughs> Stretchy arms that can reach all the things. Are you okay? <laughs> no! Oh, <laughs> this thing shouldn't exist! Oh. <laughs> Let me just say, <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry for making this! Find the generator in my bio. I recently helped make a coloring book with other artists on TikTok. It's a lot of familiar pieces you might have seen before. And Rich, I've got an idea. Oh, no. I've got an idea! Richard, darling, uh, me, light of my life, me. yes, you. Would you color? A page from the book. But I'm Richard Does Not Draw. Well, you're not Richard Does Not Color! Oh, and look! You're gonna color yourself! Uh, okay, go. Uh, how do I pick a color? <laughs> you use the color wheel, Rich! There's too many! <laughs> um, Rich, what <laughs> What brush are you using? Uh, I don't know, the, the paintbrush? <laughs> There's other brushes! Oh, I Rich. like this one! Some artistic liberties, are we? What? <laughs> You've never had a pink beard, Rich! Oh god, he's found the light brushes! I have magic power! The <laughs> big reveal! I'm an artist! <laughs> it's beautiful, honey! I know! You can find the coloring book in my bio! 50 states number 30, Pennsylvania! I picture Pennsylvania as a hungry adventurer, exploring the cities and the, and the valleys with her own pet ground dog! Yeah, that's not the thing of nightmares, nope! Sneak in a few references and say hello to Pennsylvania! I just gotta know, what if Disney princesses became villains? I've turned a lot of the Disney villains into some beautiful princesses. <laughs> but this time we're pulling an Uno reverse and seeing what would happen if we went the other way. Starting with a personal favorite, Rapunzel! <laughs> first things first, if she's a villain, she's gotta have more, more angles and, and sharp edges. As you know, if Disney's taught us one thing, it's not to trust a character with high cheekbones. <laughs> if her makeup's on point, you better, you better be running from that joint. Zoinks! <laughs> Zoinks! I think we also gotta like, you know, age him up a little bit Cause all the villains are a little bit older than the princesses Which like, what exactly is that trying to say? Like we all just get bitter and angry as we get older? You should look in the mirror, not at me <gasps> <laughs> You know, Rich really woke up this morning and chose disrespect and sass Don't you, don't you hide from me I am living for angry Pascal come out now No, oh. you're banished Oh, she's ready I guess me and 